Part of the reason I love music so much is because I love ears. The human ear is so unbelievably sensitive that all of the sounds you've ever heard in your entire life have less combined energy than a single falling snowflake. That's how sensitive your ears are. Let's put it another way. If the energy of one falling snowflake were to turn purely into sound energy, it would be enough to stimulate every single human ear on the entire Earth. Ears are cray sensitive. Other radical physics videos have emphasized the importance of understanding energy, how it can do good stuff, how it can do bad stuff, and its unit of measurement, the joule. Let's apply these ideas to sound energy. Then we'll be able to understand both the quietest sounds on Earth and the loudest ones too. Biophysicists have determined that the human ear can detect a sound power of a tenth of a quadrillionth of a watt. That's a decimal point followed by 15 zeros and then a one, a watt. A what? Yes, a watt. A watt is the international unit of power and it's equal to one joule of energy per second. So if you shake your hand up and down once every second, your handshake has a power of about one watt. Okay, so suppose you had an ideal speaker that could continually produce one watt of sound in all directions. That speaker would be freaking loud. At a distance of one meter, that speaker would be dance club loud, about 110 decibels. Okay, so we got another unit to deal with, the decibel. It would technically not be right to say that decibels measure loudness because loudness is a psychological phenomenon that happens to humans. It's not a physical thing that exists out in the world. The decibel actually measures relative sound intensity. Let's go back to the quietest sound a human ear can detect. The so-called threshold of hearing is at an intensity of 10 to the negative 12 watts per square meter. That's a trillionth of a joule per second. A trillionth of this handshake energy spread over about a square meter. That sound intensity at the threshold of human hearing is called zero decibels. 10 decibels is 10 times more intense than zero decibels. 20 decibels is 100 times more intense than zero decibels. 30 decibels is a thousand times more intense than the threshold of human hearing, and so on. The decibel scale of sound loudness is a little scary. It's like the Richter scale of earthquake intensity. It's logarithmic. A little change in value represents a big change in energy. Enjoy this handy chart. <laughs> Notice again the incredible range in human hearing sensitivity. From zero decibels to 120 decibels is 12 powers of 10 in intensity. 12 orders of magnitude, a trillion fold increase in energy absorbed by your ear. By the way, that rock concert peak sound intensity of 120 decibels or one watt per meter squared, that's the threshold of pain for most normal human beings. Of course, there are sounds louder than that in nature, even besides explosions like a bomb or a volcano or your mom screaming at you. The blue whale, for example, is the loudness winner at over 180 decibels. But fortunately for us, blue whale sounds are too low in pitch or frequency to be harmful or even audible to humans. Of course, frequency is crucial to the human experience of sound, and that will be the subject of my next radical physics video. For now, bear in mind that hearing damage begins at audible intensities above 85 decibels. So that rock concert at 120 decibels, that does serious damage to your hearing. And the longer the exposure, the greater the damage. The good news is, even those cheap little orange foam earplugs that you get at a drugstore, reduce sound intensity by 30 decibels. That's a thousand times less energy pounding you in the ear holes. I wear earplugs at concerts and my hearing's great. What? <laughs> See the universe through a brand new set of eyes.